that story is about someone who's on a prophecy, who's on a path that can't get off it, and it's beyond him. And I was dying to work with Luca again and tell a story that was grounded like the first story we told together, but this time in the American Midwest in the 80s about people that are disenfranchised in every way possible, existentially disenfranchised. When he said that Chloe Sevigny, Mark Rylance, Taylor Russell, Taylor who I had seen in Waves, who we had circled a couple projects together that didn't happen in the States, and this one came together very quickly, and that Luca, unlike any experience I've had in a movie, was welcoming my input in a script sense, um, and that Lee could be taken from an alpha jock more to a broken soul, that felt very attractive. And I can't overstate, you know, like I said, Taylor and Waves, but watching a, growing up watching Chloe, seeing Mark on stage multiple times in New York, excellent to work with Michael Stuhlbarg again, Andre Holland, who's excellent in this film. This is like a cast of artists and actors that you dream of working with. To be young now, to be young whenever, I can, I can only speak for my generation, but it is to be intensely judged. I can't imagine what it is to grow up with the onslaught of social media and it was a relief to play characters that are wrestling with an internal dilemma absent the ability to go on reddit or twitter or instagram or tiktok and figure out where they fit in which is without casting judgment on that because if you can find your your tribe there then all the power but uh i think it's tough to be alive now i think societal collapse is in the air it smells like it and uh, without being pretentious, that's why hopefully these movies matter, because that's the role of the artist, or so I'm told, is to, uh, you know, shine a light on what's going on.